Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to walk you through a landing page that I created a few hours ago. This is for a gym, as you can see on the screen. And the primary purpose, actually the only purpose of this landing page is to grab lead information. So no matter where, wherever you click on the buttons on this page, it'll take you the form down at the bottom. So just uh, click on the call to action, which uh, you can see it's a book of free trial. Uh, just like I said, this page is a lead generation landing page, and I'm going to walk you through the strategy behind this kind of implementation uh, because you can see it's, it has a very specific kind of design. It, uh, it, it talks with you about certain stuff about the gym, like what is it, how it's done, why is it different than other gyms. And let me tell you, uh, we are going to send paid traffic through Google and Facebook ads to this landing page and I've kept a few information hidden about the gym because it's client so I cannot give you client information so I've kept the like uh, the logo uh, gym name address phone numbers those stuff hidden uh, uh, by the way so this page you can see we're gonna drive traffic and I think 90% of the traffic is gonna be browsing through mobile devices so it's very important that this page is 100% mobile responsive as you can see it is so uh, I'm gonna walk you through the strategy behind this pages layout right so let me talk to you about the technical step first and then I'll walk you through the strategy behind it right so it has a header and it has a few good elements like uh, the title with the value proposition which is this is a gym for non gym people so you have the value proposition headline here it has the gym name on top and it talks about a few stuff like you have no joining fees. Uh, the first two weeks are for free and satisfaction guaranteed. The stuff people want to know whenever they land on any kind of website or landing page. So this is really, really important information to deliver as soon as they land on your page. No matter if it's a website, uh, it's a landing page, doesn't matter. And as you can see, it's got a trust badge and social proof over here it's got a nice image uh make sure you're using real images by the way no matter like it could be a stock image but make sure you're using real images and yeah it's got the call to action so value proposition headline trust badge social proof bullet points and call to action it's got everything and this button is going to take you to the form down at the bottom uh just like you saw on the at the very beginning so the next stuff, uh, the next section really has a testimonial of a client. I've, I've removed the testimonial. It's just a stock video for now. So it was a client testimonial right here. It's very, very important that you have testimonials and it's best if you have at least one video testimonial, which is exactly what we have done in this page. As you can see from couch to confidence, hear what our members have to say. Uh, so it, it, it should be has to say and this this member actually talks about the gym uh why it's best uh how it helped the, that person so that's what it this section is all about then we are talking about uh how it works so this is the process how this gym delivers their service or like this is this is global this is general this section to, should talk about how a service or a product is delivered and how easy it is, how it helps the other person. So that's what this section is all about. Right now you can see it's, uh, it has a really good image. It could be anything. It could be text, it could be image, it could be video, anything. So this section is about how it works really. So all it takes is 35 minutes to be a better use. So this is their value proposition. So their gym, uh, their gym time lasts for only 35 minutes. That's the unique value proposition of the gym and it's got a call to action. So make sure you have a lot of call to action buttons in, if possible, have call to action button in every, every single section. So that's one of the good strategies. So next section is all about just, uh, just a pure CTA, ready to re rewrite your fitness story. Join us today. And, uh, every time you have a call to action or a button, try to but not try to overdo it try to have a testimonial or something that gives the 
person or the audience or the target uh, person confidence to click on this button. So what we are doing is we are uh, we have here a testimonial of a person uh, like of a member of the gym. And as you can see, I love the fact that it's, uh, it's 35 minutes out of my day and it talks about like this person is talking about how it helped. So make sure you have something like that. The next section is why choose us. So it could be anything. It could be about the gym, about the company, you know, and it could be also why choose us, why we are better. So what it talks about is first, it gives an introduction about the gym. What is what does this gym do? And next, it talks about how long the workout really is, uh, how long the workout lasts for. Next, what is personalized training? So it talks about pretty much what, why and how, you know, that's covered in this part, gym name, a better way. So that's a good headline, I guess. Uh, then it goes to the testimonial section. So testimonial section has two testimonials here. We have a video testimonial. We have a, we have one right here and we have down at the bottom. So we have like four or five testimonials going on, which is, I think, balanced. We don't have to stuff all the testimonials in one single section. That's not needed. But if you have something like this, like two testimonials with images, that's the best thing. Trust me. And I've, I've uh, put a small text like view, reviews were fetched from gym name, uh, like the gym's Google business profile. So it gives them confidence that this these are not fake reviews as you can see these have got like real images this has to be like there has to be a, some kind of uh like you know assurance that we are not doing any any fake kind of thing in the landing page and like i said it's got the testimonial uh sorry it's got the call to action then really really important make sure you have a frequently asked question if possible ask your existing members what were your questions when you hadn't started with us? If if you can ask your members, that's the best thing ever. Trust me. So uh, you can also do Google. Like, what are the questions people people have before joining any any kind of gym, or specifically these kind of gyms, the gym, uh, the kind of gyms you have. So make sure you have that. We have a test. Uh, we have a an FAQ section over here. So this is the this is the native. FAQ element from Go High Level Builder. I'm not using anything external here. So the final section here is the final call to action, which has the but uh, which has the form where people can leave the details. So you have to be clear about the messaging here. So I'm saying want to try gym, this gym name, and complete the form below, and one of our friendly team will contact you to arrange a tour. So this is this tour is the is the uh, book a free trial or whatever. So this is the strategy behind this whole landing page and this has got a another uh testimonial with the form as well so which we call buffer and this is the ultimate strategy behind this uh this landing page implementation you know and let me show you the mobile version of it so it's got the logo trust badge and when you land on the page from mobile it's got everything you need them to see so that's that's what we need that's the stuff we need and how everything's laid out i think it's perfect i think uh on mobile it looks really really good yeah so if you are sending 90 percent of the traffic on a landing page make sure it's 100 percent responsive and mobile otherwise leads not going to come they're not going to convert and when you look at it it doesn't have a lot of stuff going on you know it doesn't have like fancy elements it, ha it doesn't have premium images stock images or whatever it's got what it needs to have it's got the authenticity it's got the flow uh which is called ada attention interest desire and action so this is the page flow this is the attention section this is the this is the interest section and uh followed by a call to action section of course and then desire section starts from testimonials ends with frequently asked questions and the final action section where they take the action and leave their details on the form so that's what we need that's the the layout i think we should go for no matter what kind of business it is and i think it's it's it was a really good landing page and we will see we will look at the uh conversion rate how it does how it performs uh obviously there will be some split testings going on because it's high level and they allow 
split testing so we are going to do that we are going to take that advantage and yeah that's that's pretty much it what i wanted to share with you guys in this video make sure you subscribe and like this video if you like it of course and i'll see you in the next one thank you